Yo, what's up, my beautiful people? This is Elvis Derry, the king of YouTubers, and I'm back with a fresh and brand new episode. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on that amazing notion bell. And today, I'm joined with, with my beautiful uh, sister, all the way from the USA. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Elvis. Uh, please introduce yourself uh, to the audience. Well, my name is Brittany Caldwell. Um, I am from Washington, D.C., by way of Atlanta, and I have been living in Kenya for officially six months. Amazing. All those six months, like how has been your experience? Um, it started off really bumpy. Mm. At first I did not like Kenya or Nairobi. Um, I had spent like a lot of time in Ghana mm -hmm. and West Africa and East Africa are very different. Mm -hmm. So I came here like expecting certain things that I didn't get. And then also it was like a hard work transition for me. It was just like a lot going on at once. And um, you know where I live, it's not really like an experience, you know, when I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's not really like a um, very cultured area. So I was just feeling like, uh, but it's like getting better every day. And you have said that uh, East Africa and West Africa, they are quite different. Can you please explain to us in detail the difference? Um, well, I'm trying to say this in a non-offensive way. Um, West Africa tends to be a little less, and I don't want to say all of East Africa, because all I know is Nairobi and Accra. I've never been to any other cities in Africa, otherwise like around Kenya, but um, Kenya is more infrastructurally advanced and like more modern, I wanna say, like more modernized, um, more like cosmopolitan. So like what I was used to seeing, like women really in like, like tribal wear on the streets in the city are like, just more like cultural type village things almost, I wanna say. I was used to seeing like in the city in Accra to where you don't really have that as much as in Kenya. Or like even like the amount of skyscrapers is way higher here. Um, life is slower there, I wanna say. So it was just like a different speed mm -hmm. that I wasn't really like used to um, due to just like my American ignorance, like me not really knowing much you know like i haven't traveled all throughout africa so amazing amazing and uh while you are in west africa uh please explain to us like uh what really do you did you love about west africa because i've seen uh, so many african americans are mostly going to west africa especially in ghana so please explain to us well you know that our people were stolen yeah. so like the chance of my people being stolen and being from Kenya is like 1%, you know? Um, so as African-Americans, we've just always been taught that we were stolen from the Gold Coast. So it's like when you think about like your ancestors and all these things, it's just like instinctual for you to be like, I want to go to Ghana, you know? And it's very expensive, just like ex it's expensive for Africans to travel throughout Africa. It is very, very expensive for Americans to travel to Africa. And most people do not have like the disposable income as well as taking the time off because it's so far. So it's like, think about someone who's been saving up their whole life to come to Africa. You're gonna kind of want to go to a place that's like your ancestors and not like, oh my God, Ethiopia. <laughs> like, unless you're Ethiopian, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, uh, and also about Kenya. Like, uh, what do you uh, like about Kenya? Kenya is the most beautiful, like, jungle paradise city. It just it has everything. Like, it has safari, city, beach, desert, mountain. Like, it's a good piece of country, I think. You see, I, I'm even smiling. Like, I'm so flattered <laughs> with yeah, the positive yeah. words. And, yeah. uh, and uh, like, are you planning to to stay for a very long period of time in Africa? Like, have you moved in permanently? I am an African citizen for sure. As to what country, I don't know. I was planning on settling in Ghana, but I had to X that plan. And now I'm living in Kenya. I have to, my job gives me contracts. So I'm here for the next two years 
if in this year of October, I have to decide if I want to stay for another two years. So that's just how my job is going. But I'm actually working towards opening a business here. So um, who at this point, I'm just winging it. We'll see. And uh, what would you tell your uh, African-American brothers in the U.S. Uh, or your brothers in the Caribbean or the U.K. like uh, about Africa? If they want to come to Africa, like what would you tell them? I tell all my friends and family to come to Africa um, because it's untapped almost. There's a lot of things that you could bring here that are like played out in America, but like we don't have here. So like drive through coffee. There's not that many drive through coffee places, you know, like laser tag, like all these things that are just like we drive by 20 times a day in America we don't have here or like there's restaurants where like the food goes around and you just like pick it up and like, you know, things like that, that I don't really see a lot in Africa. So I always tell my family members and friends, like there's a lot of room for entrepreneurship if you have money here. So you got to get with it, um, get in where you can fit in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, all that time that you have been in Africa, uh, uh how have, have the African people treated you? It depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, I've been treated very, very well, like a little princess sometimes. And I've been treated real crazy other times. So I think it's, um, for the most part, it's been a very welcoming experience. I'm really chill and I like to learn. So I think that that disarms people as well. Like I like to cook and like learn how to cook dishes. And like, I don't have a problem like asking what this and that means. So I think that, I'm a friendly person, so I, I get treated pretty pretty friendly for the most part. But sometimes I have felt like people be trying to get over. <laughs> and uh, all that time you have been in Africa, have you tried to learn any African language? I know a little tree, which is like what they speak in Ghana, the Ashanti people. But, um, I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> um, tree is harder than Swahili. So I'm actually just signed up for Swahili lessons. The good thing about Swahili is you can put it in Google Translate and it reads like it, it, it talks like it reads. So you can literally just look at the letters and it's really phonetic versus like tree, which it doesn't look like it talks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think Swahili is easier to learn. So I'm working on um, learning Swahili. Yeah, in the next future, I will come and in interview you in Swahili. So I, I hope you will, uh, you will learn the Swahili Just language. Just a little. Nana Jaribu. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that, am I not saying it right? What? It's like Jaribu something, like, oh, I'm trying. Jaribu, to try. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, yeah. Jaribu. And what, what else do you know, Swahili one? <laughs> Somebody taught me how to say, I love you so much. Something, something. Nana Kinu Sana. Nakupenda sana. Yeah, nakupenda sana. <laughs> oh, nakupenda sana, baby. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I've been learning little things. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Like I'm, I'm really touched and, and I'm so impressed. And I would really love to welcome all my African American brothers and sisters, man, because Africa is home. This is your home. You are much welcome here. You can, if you want to start your business, you can uh, come and start a business here and also create job opportunities uh, for the African people, man. So do you have any last words before I end this interview? Um, thank you guys for being so welcoming. Follow my page, Brittany in Africa. I love suggestions of like places where to go, mm -hmm. like people, the people's favorites, the people's choice. So I think that it'll be really cool if you guys drop some places that you think that I would enjoy in Kenya or Nairobi or surrounding countries in general. Yeah, and also there's something I've forgotten to ask you about the African food. Like, uh, have you tested any African food? And uh, if so, what is your favorite? Okay, so it took me a while to find out what I liked in Nairobi and in Kenya mm. because I'm a street food person. I don't really like mm. going to restaurants all the time. So, But when you go on the street, it's not really the best food. Around have you here. tried ugali? Ugali I don't like because it's too dry. It's too dry for me. I don't like it. Even when you put it with soup, it's not good. 
Um, most, I, most foreigners, they don't like ugali. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's just flour. Like, it's just yeah. flour. I like fufu. Yeah. So I like, like, pounded cassava and, like, mm-hmm. I, I just don't like ugali. Mm-hmm. But um, I do like the Swahili food here. Mm-hmm. Like, wet fish, dry fish. I love, like, the greens, cabbage, the spinach. I love, um, what's it called? The little puff balls. Starts with the M. Matazi. Ma- Mandazi. Mandazi. Um, I'm kind of trying to stay away from chapati. And stuff. Why? Chapati is my favorite. Chapati and ugali. No, it goes straight. Why? To my, it goes straight to my ass. It's not good. <laughs> it's okay. not good. Um, yeah, those are my favorites. I love like choma. No, nyama choma. Yeah, most people they love nyama choma and and beer. You know, yeah, beer. Yeah. I'm a um, Nairobi. I don't do beer, but Nairobi has turned me into a gin drinker. A lot of people here drink like Beef Eater, Gordon. Mm, yes, yes. Oh my God, Jaeger, Meister. Oh God, yeah. disgusting. Chrome, Chrome Gin. You don't like Chrome Gin. <laughs> I get headaches uh. really easily. So honestly, I sneak my liquor into a lot of restaurants and clubs. Yeah. I sneak my own liquor in. They don't touch you. I have tricks. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, uh, guys, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this amazing episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, man. So, I'm going to put her links in the description down below. So, make sure you go and uh, support uh, my, my sister and uh, subscribe and follow her. Thank yeah, you so much. Subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, bye thank bye. you.